Okay, so section 4-4 is recognizing the factoring method to apply. So basically the summary of the factoring we've done. So the first thing is your expression with a GCF. Anytime you have expression with a GCF, make sure you. this is the first step. So it might not be the only type of factoring, but you're going to start with the doing GCF, and then if you can do anything further, then you'll continue. So for example, 1, for instance, the GCF of this would be 2x squared, and so times 3x, and then minus 2x squared times 2. So we factor out the 2x squared, and we get 3x minus 2. Okay, in example 2, there's a GCF of 2, so 2 times k squared minus 2 times 2k minus 2 times 15. If we factor out the 2, we get k squared minus 2k minus 15. Now again, you might be able to factor this further for the sake of doing this section. We're just looking at GCF, but you would then see if you could factor further, and in this case, you would be able to. So that's the first step. Anything with GCF, do that first and then continue factoring using other methods. Factoring of four terms is always done by grouping. Okay, and again, you can group in any order. If I usually try the first two, last two, and do it that way, and that way I have to rearrange, but you can rearrange if you want. So the GCF of the first two is just y, and if we factor the y out, we get 2x plus 3. The GCF of the second group would be negative 4, and that would give me 2x plus 3. And then the GCF of that set would be 2x plus 3, Cancel those away, and we get y minus 4. So factoring by grouping. Looking at the next example, remember this is just a review of what we've done the rest of the week. It's GCF is 2n. When we factor that out, 2 times 6 is 12. We have the n, so we need m. And then 2 times 1 is 2. And then over here, the GCF would be 5. 5 times 6 is 30. 5 times 1 is 5. We see that common term, 6m minus 1, and if we cancel those away, we have 2n plus 5. Okay, so that's grouping. Then we learned three terms where a is not equal to 1, so this is factoring by expanding or split the middle. Okay, so they both, they're both different terms um, for the same thing. So we either expand it to make it four terms or we call it split the middle where we split the middle to make the four terms. So first times last, negative 18, the middle is seven. What multiplies a negative 18 and adds to seven is nine and negative two. So again, we split the middle, replace seven by nine X minus two X. The beginning stays the same. The end stays the same, and now we do our grouping from the previous page. So we factor out the 3x, and we get x plus 3. And we factor out a negative 2, we get x plus 3. And then we GCF of x plus 3, and we get 3x minus 2. And then for number 6, again, we're going to do split the middle, so we make our x. And this is because, again, a, the leading term, is greater than 1, or not equal to 1. So we get negative 12, and then we have 1. So 4 and negative 3. So 4x minus 3x will give me that 1. And then we have 2x squared. And then we group. Factor out a 2x here. We get x plus 2. Factor a negative 3, x plus 2. And then our GCF is x plus 2. And we're left with 2x minus 3 as the factor. So that's split the middle. Okay? So that was factoring with splitting the middle. And then the last time, if there's a is equal to 1, and only if it's equal to 1, you can use a shortcut. I always find students that learn the shortcut, and then they use it every time, even when they can't, and then you get the wrong answer. So one thing is always make sure you check your answers to make sure they work. You check your factors. But always make sure you can only use a shortcut if a is 1. So now we make our x. 1 times 21 is 21. 10. What multiplies a 21 adds to 10? 7 and 3. So then our factors are x plus 7 and x plus 3, and we're done. 
And then the last one, 1 times negative 10 is negative 10, and the middle is negative 3. What multiplies to negative 10 and adds to negative 3? Negative 5 and positive 2. So we have x minus 5, x plus 2, and we have the answer. So that's a review of all the type of factor we learned this week. So a summary, you are in, now we have practice here. So now you have to figure out which type to use. So if I look at this first one, I say, okay, it's three terms, which means I'm going to use either shortcut or split the middle. Since this A is one, I can use the shortcut. What multiplies to negative 18 and adds to negative seven, negative nine, positive two, shortcut X minus nine, x plus 2. Okay. And then if we look at number 2, again, we're always looking for a GCF. There isn't one. This has a is not one, so we need to split the middle. 2 times 21 is 42. Multiplies to 42 and adds to 17. Uh, let's see. 42, 21. So 1 and 42, 2 and 21. 3 goes in and 14, so 3 and 14. So now we have to split the middle, so 3b plus 14b, bring down the 21 and the 2b squared, and group. Factor out of b, we get 2b plus 3. Factor out of 7, 2b plus 3. And then we get 2b plus 3 times b plus 7. Number three only has two terms, which means the only thing we can do is GCF. The GCF is 3K. So we have 3K times 4K plus 3. And number four is four terms, so we can use grouping. And then a factor out of Y and get 7X plus 1. And over here, a factor out of negative 3 and we get 7X plus 1. And then that would give me 7x plus 1, y minus 3. And then number 5 is 3 terms, so split the middle. Or we don't have to do split the middle, we can do shortcut because a is 1. So we've got 1 times negative 32, and then 4. What multiplies to negative 32 and adds to 4? 8 and negative 4, so x plus 8. Sorry, x plus 8 and x minus 4. And that's an x, not of 8. And then the last one, four terms again. So we're grouping. Take out an a, you get negative 2b plus 1. And over here, if I take out a 3, I get 2b minus 1. And since these don't match, if you remember before, we changed this one to negative 3, which makes it negative 2b plus 1, change all the signs. And now these do match, so we have negative 2b plus 1, and then a minus 3. So that's the summary of all the things you've learned this week. Take those, make sure you fill these in, make sure you pay close attention to what's going on, how I solved it, and then use those to do the 4-4 practice using whatever method works for each problem. Follow the examples from the notes to help you.